So when you hear the name G-Skill, you're probably thinking RAM, but this isn't what I've got from them today to take a look at. This is their Widgie Dash, which is a PC command panel. It's a seven inch panel, which you can customize, use it for a variety of functions on your PC. In the UK, it's gonna cost you just under 130 pounds. So let's go ahead and get it on box and take a closer look at it. So in terms of connecting things up to the PC, there's just one cable that we're gonna to need to plug in. So you can see on the underside, we've got a USB Type-C port. So we can plug in our Type-C cable. And then on the other end of the cable, we've got a USB Type-A port, which we need to simply plug into our PC. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna to need to do is head over to the Widgie Dash page on G-Skills website, and we're gonna download the Widgie Dash Manager software. So we'll click on Download. We can head over to our Downloads folder. We'll right-click on the file and click Extract All and extract and then we can double click on it to install it click next we'll accept the terms click next and we're just going to go for a typical install and install click yes and we'll click on finish so as it comes up it's going to advise us to update the firmware so i'm going to go ahead and do this click on confirm and confirm and click confirm so you'll notice the screen our device is now turned on and we've got a mirror image of our screen up here and we're going to do our customization on the PC, but it's gonna reflect the changes on the device itself. So we take a look at our device out of the box, you can see we've got our date and time, we've got some media controls, we can mute our mic, and we've got some additional icons here. So for example, not all these look to be currently working. Uh, the music one takes us over to this page here, where we've got some additional audio controls. We've got some links for Spotify, I'm not currently signed in on this PC, it's a build I made recently on the channel. And we can flick between the pages just by dragging across, and this will take us back to our first page. And you can see here we've got a sensor panel, so we can see our CPU clock speed and our Core 1 clock speed, and we've got our GPU temperature here, and there's others that aren't currently filled in. So we are gonna to have to do a little bit of customization on the PC. So it's on the PC here where we're gonna change things, but if we want to actually see what it, clicking the buttons actually does, we can click Emulate Device Touch, and then we click on here, we're gonna get the same information that we would get if we were touching our device. So we'll leave that off for now. So looking at our pages, our home page, this is our default page. We've also got a music library page, which is the second one I showed you, and then we've got our live streams page, which again, nothing's on the moment and we are able to customize these pages plus we can add in a fourth page i'm just going to leave that called page four but you could change it to whatever you want and then we're just going to be able to click on each of these to customize it and we'll be able to swipe through them on the device if we want to change something it's over here we're going to click on it so we can click on it over here and then we can adjust what it's showing so it currently shows i've got a ryzen 7 9700x installed and this is core zero that it is displaying the clock speed for. But what we can do is we can change this to what something else. So we can scan down and you can see we've got absolutely loads of sensor information here. So it's really just take your pick. So let's look at our, for example, GPU fan speed if you want to change it to it. Okay, so take a look at what else we can do. So for example, if we take a look at this folders, um, at the moment, we've got the image. If we want to upload a different image, we can pick whichever image we want to appear here. So we've got a whole variety of different images here that we can pick. So for example, if we wanted to change this to this, the icon is gonna change. Again, there's lots of options for changing the design and the hotkey, there's currently no action for it. So let's add an action. So we can click on the icon. At the moment, it's currently doing nothing we can pick what we want it to do. So for example, if we wanted to open this, open a URL, we could have that. So what I could do is paste in the link to my YouTube channel and click on save. I'm just gonna change the icon to the YouTube icon and click select. And if I want to test how this works, I can do it on the device, but I'm just gonna go and touch it to see how it works. And you see now on the PC, it has opened up the link if we want to add additional widgets, we've got some here. So there's Ida64, we've got the audio visualizer, and we've got the clock. But we can head over to the marketplace, and you'll see there's a whole load of additional things that we can install. So let's try the weather, 
and we're going to have to restart the manager so let's do that okay so to add a device you're going to pick the size that you want so we've got two by one or three by two so the first one is the x-axis the horizontal and then y is the vertical so we do have a two by one space at the top of our home page so i'm simply going to drag the weather if i wanted the three by two i would change it and it would highlight in blue and then we'll drag the icon up to the top so we'll just bring this up a little bit and we'll take a look at our weather options so i'm going to use metric units so we've now got over to degree c and I just need to change the location. So I'm gonna type in where I am. So it's now found Belfast in the United Kingdom. And we'll let's accept that. So you can see now we've got the weather and actually for the end of November, this is a pretty nice temperature and at least it's not raining just at the moment. So say you don't want something on the device, we can click on it and click delete. And we'll add a picture in this place. So let's pick a one by one picture and we'll drag the picture over. So we can customize this. So we're gonna have it as a single image. We'll just drag this up and make it a little bit more room. And we need to select our image. So let's click select. We can click browse if we want to add our own pictures in. And I do think I've got my logo saved here. So let's click open and click on select. So you take a look on the device, you now see that my logo has appeared. It's also possible to change the images for the other buttons. So say we want to keep the function it has, and you can see that we've got the image, it's fine from here. So we can click here if we want to change it to one of our own. We can click on the browse. We'll head back to our pictures where we've got the official YouTube logo, and we click on open. And then all we need to do is click on select. And then you can see on the device, we've got the YouTube logo. So this is just definitely a great way to add a little bit of color to the device. And we go ahead and click on it it's going to open up my YouTube page on the PC. So we head over to our media page. Because I've got a, a trailer playing on my homepage of YouTube, it's one of my step-by-step -step PC build guides, we can see we've got the audio visualizer playing. So we do have some controls here that we can adjust. So we can turn the volume up or down. And you'll see as I do that, the volume icon is appearing and changing on the screen. We can mute it completely. And you see that's changing as well on the screen. So probably the bit I'm most interested in is making a large sensor panel for IDA64. So I'm gonna go ahead and select page four. We'll head over to IDA64, and it's a five by four icon that's gonna fill the whole screen that I want. So I'm just gonna drag this over. So it looks like I might have to open IDA64, so we'll do that. So in IDA64, we're gonna to need to go to preferences, and we're gonna click on LCD, we're gonna click on G Skill. We're gonna click on Enable G Skill LCD Support. Now we've enabled this, we can click on LCD Items. And this is where we're gonna set up our sensor panel. Now we're gonna to want to go ahead back to our G Skill page. And they have an IDA64 sensor panel theme, so we'll download it. Head back to our Downloads folder, right click, Extract All, Extract. If we head back to IDA64, we can click on Import. Go back to our downloads, we'll click on the sensor panel and then we can pick the one that we want. So let's go for red and click open. And then let's click on apply. And we can see all the information on the device itself. If we want to modify anything we can, so for example, we can click on the GPU tab and we'll click on modify. So we've got options to change what comes up and at the size, the color. Um, I'm just gonna change this over to RTX 4070 and click on OK. And you'll see now this has changed on the display. So it would just be a matter of changing, exactly, changing it to exactly what you want it to. Let's say we run a stress test. Let's see how it shows up on the device and we'll click on start. So we take a look over our CPU. You can see it's currently running at 100%. We can see the power draw and we can see our current temperature and also our clock speeds. GPU is also at 100%. We've got the power draw, we've got the temperature and our clock speeds and also how much VRAM we're using. Memory, we're up at 96% at the moment. And you can see it's only running at 4,800 megatransfers per second. So I need to go and enable the Expo. And we can see our current fan speeds for our GPU and our CPU fan. So I've shut IDA64 down and we've now just got a red screen on the device. So it does look like we're gonna to have to have IDA64 running to get anything appearing on this. So we click yes again. 
So you are actually, as well as having the widget dash manager running, you're gonna have to have IDA64 running in the background for the screen to be populated. So hopefully you find this quick unboxing and overview of the G-Skill widget dash useful. Um, on first impressions, really impressed, particularly with the integration with IDA64 and having the template where you can get started out of the box without having to create all this for yourself. I imagine a lot of the home screens, you are gonna to want to go in and do a lot of customization. And I definitely think adding these nice bright color logos for the buttons is gonna really personalize it and make it much more pleasant to use. Um, so for me, I think it is just seeing what it can do and setting up the buttons for the main features I use on my PC. But I think it would actually probably change the home screen over to the IDA64 panel. So I've been keeping a close eye on what's going on with the PC when I'm doing various tasks. So I suppose the only downside is you're gonna have more software running in the background. Not only G-Skill software, but if you want the IDA64, you're gonna to have the IDA64 running all the time as well. And I'm not a big fan of having additional things running in the background. So you're just gonna to have to weigh up, is that worth it or not for you for this functionality? If you have enjoyed this unboxing and overview, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not currently subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching.